this video, we'll show you how to use the Grade Wizard in Remark QuickStats to customize the test grading process. First, administer the test and scan the forms as usual. After you've administered the test and scanned the forms, you can then use the Grade Wizard to grade your test and include parameters that provide additional information about the test and student performance. To start the Grade Wizard, click the Grade Wizard button. The Grade Wizard helps you design an answer key that you'll use to grade the test. If you've given the test before, you can simply browse to the location of the answer key you've saved and use the parameters you've already defined. If you want to test students' knowledge of a particular subject, you can apply learning objectives, or subtests, to the answer key. In this example, we'll apply a subtest to our answer key. If you want to convert a student's score to a common scale, such as an ACT or an SAT score, select the Scaled Score option to calculate a scaled score for each student. If you have multiple versions of a test, you can construct multiple answer keys. For this test, we'll assign a benchmark or proficiency level that we want students to achieve. We'll type 70 in the benchmark percent box. On the answer key window, you can set all your answer keys by first scanning them all before you scan your tests. Or, if for example, you want to assume the key is in a particular row, select Grid Row from the Answer Key Source drop-down list, select the appropriate grid row, and click Get Key. Remark then identifies the correct responses. If you want the question text to display on the report, you can type or paste the text in the question text box. You can also change the weight of a question by changing the correct points value from say 1 to 2. And you can also change the value of incorrect responses or unanswered questions. An example might be to assign a negative value for not answering the question. To award all points for the question as extra credit, select the extra credit box. The Learning Objectives window allows you to specify learning objectives or standards for a test. If you've developed a list of learning objectives in a database file or spreadsheet, click Import to import the list into Remark. You can also create your own learning objectives. For example, let's say there's a section for grammar and a section for punctuation, and we want to know how students performed in these areas. Type the name of the learning objective and click Add. The new learning objective populates the learning objective section. Highlight Grammar select the questions associated with that learning objective and click the arrow to include the questions with the grammar objective. Repeat those steps for the punctuation objectives. Note that questions can be represented in more than one learning objective. If you want to define a benchmark value for the individual learning objective, select the Define Benchmark Value checkbox and enter the benchmark percent. The benchmark values can be different for each objective. You can also customize your grade scale to include scales such as plus or minus, pass fail, or mastery level. Or you can create your own grade scale. For more information about grade scales, see the Remark QuickStats user guide. The Custom Report Header window allows you to optionally create a report header. You can customize titles or add images that will appear in the report header. The final screen in the Grade Wizard summarizes the grading information, including correct answers, objectives, and grading instructions. Click Finish to complete the Grade Wizard. A prompt asks you if you want to save the answer key. If you save the file, you can use it at a later time without having to build a new answer key. All you have to do is load the file and generate the reports. When you're done, Remark generates the reports. In the next video, we'll talk about viewing reports. We'll see you next time.